How's it going guys? My name is Slip and today I'm going to show you every single way you can get free items on Terminus, whether that be free points, free perks, free weapons, free wonder weapons, and even upgrades to your character that are not available on any other map. This list is going to go from the least powerful to most powerful secrets on this map. So if this seems interesting to you, make sure to leave a like on the video and let's get straight into it. As soon as you spawn in on Terminus, you can make your way to the Juggernaug room where the second amp generator is and shoot the billiard table to get a free 100 points. If you swim in the water to the left side of the inclined lift, you'll notice a rock that has some bubbles coming out of it. If you throw a grenade inside the water, it'll blow and move the rock and you'll notice an oxygen tank and you can pick it up and doing so will give you extra oxygen when you're underwater for the remainder of the match. This next easter egg doesn't necessarily give you anything, but I thought it was way too cool to not mention on this list. So if you take the elevator down into the bio lab and you jump immediately as the doors close, it'll send you into some some sort of demonic realm of existence and you will notice blood and eyes staring at you and you'll hear screams and it's pretty creepy but at the end it'll drop you down into the bio lab after you get the pack a punch turned on make your way into this room in the bio lab and you'll notice a yellow tube behind these boxes if you shoot it it'll spawn in a free double points underneath your feet this only works once a game but you can do it every single game to guarantee a free double points as soon as you get a pack a punched weapon make your way to this box outside the juggernaut room and jump up and you'll notice a basketball on the roof and if you shoot it mid jump, it'll fall into the basketball hoop outside the laboratory and you'll be rewarded 2,000 points. Right outside of the room you got the free double points in, you'll notice a lot of zombies in these cages, and if you take out all of the zombies in the cages, the next round, vermin will replace their spots in the cages. And once you take out all of the vermin that spawn, you want to wait one more round and come back to the cages, and then you'll notice one mangler will be inside one of the cages, and as soon as you take out the mangler, you will be rewarded with a free perk. All around the map in the water, there are these green crates with yellow lights on them, and when you interact with them, you have the chance to get anything from points, to perks, to ammo mods, to salvage, to weapons, to wonder weapons, and once you open every single crate on the map, you will get rewarded with a free perk. But, every single game, the crates spawn randomly, and there's a couple locations that you need to know. The crates can spawn in the bio lab, the shipwreck, the castle rock island, the crab island, and the northwestern island. So you just want to swim around in the water near those areas, and once you get all of the crates unlocked, you will get a free perk. I also wanted to mention, since they're very similar, that the dig sites give extremely similar loot drops, but they give a higher chance of perk bottles every single time you dig them up, so keep that in mind while you're playing. If you're driving a boat around on the water, eventually you'll notice an island covered in yellow spores. If you shoot all of the spores on the island, a bunch of parasites will end up flying out of the top and you'll hear a very low bassy sound. That'll indicate the first step of the spore quest is complete. From this point, you just want to end the round and at the start of the next round, a new island around the map will be covered in spores. You once again just want to drive around the island and shoot all of the spores and at the end, a bunch of parasites sites will fly out of the top again. The next round you want to rinse and repeat the same thing one final time and then at the start of the fourth round make your way to the speed cola cave and you'll notice the spores have moved inside of the cave. And after you take out all of the spores for the very final time you'll be rewarded with a free perk and either an ether tool or a weapon or a wonder weapon or anything like that in a couple of points. Once you get dead wire on your gun make your way to the right side of the inclined lift and look towards the spawn room and you'll notice an antenna with electricity on it. Once you shoot it, a red light will appear on top of the antenna, and you just want to do the same thing to the antenna on top of the workshop. After this, you want to end the round, and at the start of the next round, make your way over to the Void Cannon and interact with it. Doing so will cause a meteor to fall from the sky, and once you make your way over to Castle Rock Island after it lands, you'll notice a bunch of ammo mods, score streaks, armor plates, and even a wonder weapon or two if you're lucky. Around the map, there are three toy boats around the three major islands apart from the main map. This first boat is on the right side of the Eastern Island, also known as the Castle Rock Island. The second location is on the left side of the Northwestern Island in the water down here and the final location is on the back side of the crab island and it's right here and once you interact with the red light on any of the boats you will be transported to the boat minigame this is a little speedboat minigame very similar to the arcade style boat racing games that you'll see at any arcade 
and it's really fun. If you drive through these point canisters, you get speed boosts. I believe this is a five round cycle, so every five rounds you can check one of the three locations, and if you see the red light, you can interact with it and start the boat mini game. And at the end, you get a nice little reward for your efforts, depending on how well you did during the race and how many points you collected. If you go to the speed cola room in this corner by the armory, you'll notice a unicorn plushie inside of this locker. Interact with it to pick it up. Head down to the bio lab and just by the crafting table, you'll notice a little bear plush on this table. If you make your way towards the reactor from the workshop and turn around, you'll notice a little monkey outside of this fence. Head down into the PhD cave and over by the gobblegum machine behind this pallet, you'll see an elephant plushie you can pick up. Then if you make your way to the crab rock island behind this floodlight, you'll notice a giraffe plushie you can pick up. And the final stuffy is inside of this garbage crate on the shipwreck and it's a little ducky and once you pick him up, you can make your way into the juggernaug room and interact with any of the stuffies you picked up before to summon the mega stuffy. This is basically a retextured parasite that is on your side and it'll shoot at the zombies and make them fall over and it'll also revive you if you go down similar to the civil protector so it's a very cool little pet and i think it's worth checking out you want to buy melee macchiato and then make your way into the speed cola cave here you want to melee the stalagmite wall it'll reveal a pirate a treasure chest and a map you want to go to where the red x is marked on this map and you'll find a watch in the water you want to hop out of your boat and pick up the watch and then bring the watch back to your pirate friend and in exchange he will give you three more locations. These locations are his old crewmates and you have to go get his coin collection back. So you want to get three Molotovs and then make your way to the shipwreck. I recommend having a pack-a-punched gun and deadshot for this and jug because they are going to be spawning the Red Manglers from the Liberty Falls Easter Egg. And once you take out the Red Mangler, a cursed coin will drop and you want to pick it up. Now make your way to the Northwestern Island and this skeleton right here by the tomb. You want to throw a Molotov on it and again, take out the Red Mangler that spawns and pick up his cursed coin. The final skeleton is on the Crab Rock Island and it's kind of hard to see, but right here, if you throw a Molotov at it, it'll spawn the Red Mangler. And once you pick up the final cursed coin, make your way back to the Skeleton Man and give him all three three of his coins back and in return he will give you three legendary weapons for your efforts but this is not where this quest ends if you wait a couple rounds two to three rounds after you complete the legendary weapon chest the Crab Rock Island will start to experience lightning, and around the island, a treasure chest will spawn, and when you interact with it, you can pick up the Cursed Talisman. This is an item that upgrades your character and gives you basically a permanent double points, but with a trade-off of every single time you get hit, it takes a small percentage of your overall points away from you. It also gives you a small health boost, and you can put it back into the chest at any time if you get tired of using it. And with that, you've made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for sticking around till the end. If you found anything I mentioned in today's video informative or useful, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because every day we get closer to 2,000 subscribers and you guys genuinely mean the world to me. So with that all being said, I hope you have a great rest of your day wherever you are in the world and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.